so they, I mean, they don't get killed super fast, but with the splash, I mean, it does pretty, ultras do pretty well against zealots. And, I mean, like I said, they take no damage from zealots, so really, once these ultras start to come out, it's going to be very hard for the Protoss player to effectively deal with them. He'll have to, I almost transition out of this, I'd like to see, see some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe some immortals, some immortals joining the force or something. But he still has to remember to get a couple Colossus though, so maybe more of a Robo Heavy build. He's gonna take out a uh, Overseer there, or an uh, Overlord, but a huge attack going down, kinda getting a surround there from Rhett. Oh, oh no, he needs to start storming or he's gonna lose all of his units. Oh, ooh. Really just being forced to run there and losing losing some units in the process. So now, Rhett has lost the less units here. And looks like he's going to be able to take out this expansion as well. So this is not looking too good for mana. Looking at the... Oh, nice storms going down though. Going to do tons of damage to those units. And then another force coming in from the other direction. Nice blink there, picking off units. Tons of things going down. But not before quite a large number of the probes uh, did get taken out. And looks like this expansion might actually go down. Will it be saved? Oh, and the Ultra does go down in time. So, uh, I don't know. Let's uh, That last battle, I don't know who came out ahead there. It's, it's very iffy. Uh, Protoss player lost a lot of econ there, which is going to hurt him. But he was up, so he's still at a competitive econ. But uh, Rhett took a lot of damage on his units. But the thing he does have going for him is his units can regen um, relatively quickly. And if we don't see a battle going down anytime soon, we will see uh, that happening. Looks like Rhett is at 200-200, so going to move out. And once again, he's going to try and take down this expansion. The uh, Protoss army a little bit out of place, and I think it will go down, yeah goes down very easily and I think Red's just gonna back up. Might even decide to fight here, we'll have to see. Um, Ultra's in the front, very good, going to help stop a lot of the damage that could be going on in these Hydras. But looks like, oh, both players just kind of deciding to back up. I don't really know who had the advantage here. I thought maybe Mana did, but he is down um, in the food count. And I think Red was just kind of thinking, all right, I'll just get more reinforcements here. Oh, one sec, I gotta blow my nose. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what's going on, but my allergies is killing me. Once again, we do have an attack uh, on this expansion. Gonna try and take it out once again. Look at all those workers going down. That really hurts. But looks like Red really is not um, gonna build in more workers, just kind of sticking at the 66 count. And that's not a terrible number. He could get a little more, I think, but he doesn't want to go too much higher. Usually, you you know, you want to sit at, like, 70 to 80 um, workers, I would think. Any more than that, your army just gets destroyed in any fight. And looks like we are going to see a little uh, switcheroo here. Looks like the Protoss player is just going to go for it to take an expansion. And Rhett... Ah, I thought he was going to take out this expansion, changing, hesitating for a minute there, and now looks like he's just going to go for it. He needs to let those Ultras go in front, though, and Ultras wreck building so much faster than anything the uh, Protoss player can have. But look at all these Overlords. Oh, the Overlords need to run, or they might uh, make Red be seriously supply blocked. But here we go, the Force of Red returning just in time. Tons of Ultras here, but look at all those Immortals! Immortals great against Ultra List. Don't really know who's going to come out ahead here. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be very close. I think Red... Oh, looks like Red is actually going to turn this around, though. Going to uh, force the Protoss player back. And... But you have to remember he did lose that gold expansion, and I think a gold expansion is worth more than that um, expansion that the Protoss player lost, so... I think that probably won in the favor of the Protoss player here. Protoss player trying to grab the gold um, as well. And still, what does the unit composition look like? Both players really low, low on army here. Protoss player quite a bit lower, actually. And Protoss player lost a ton of workers in that fight, down to 40 workers. 
Red up a little bit higher, up at a 48. Ultra is poking in here again, trying their best to dodge storms. Um, just kind of continuing to try and chase down these forces. Another immortal here. And the storms, like I said, they're just not that effective. Morphing a couple of Archons, though. And I really like this. I think Archons will be very good um, in any upcoming battle. They do do bonus damage to Biological, so very strong against any Zerg unit, and they do Splash! So any sort of Lings that Red augments his force with will get taken out very quickly by these Archons. So the Archons fighting uh, the uh, um, or Ultralisk here, and looks like they did do pretty decent. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really, really surprised at how well Archons do uh, against all Zerg forces. Very strong. Lot kind of underrated, especially with this three attack. They're just deadly with that. I mean, splash and tons of damage. Ugh. Ugh. No, no Zerg player wants to deal with that. We do have the Great Aspire up. Um, no transition to Broodlords yet. I don't know what really is waiting for. Broodlords actually would be very good in this situation, I think. But once again, these units poking in here. Archon's doing splash, doing a lot of damage to these lings, and then just continuing to do a lot of damage to these ultras. Doing a little bit of a ultra mortal micro there, pulling back the hurt ones. But looks like it's not gonna matter. I think, yeah, the Protoss player does take out that last uh, more, or the last uh, ultra, and does manage to hold his base. But Red continuing to stream in reinforcements here, and. Mana just kind of struggling. Oh, can, losing more workers. This is not a good position for him to be in. He cannot lose these workers because every worker he loses just allows Red to continue the pressure that much more. And that's one thing about Zerg that is so good is they can just transition um, from building workers to building units so so well that if they kind of gain an advantage they can just continue to push the other player with units and hold that advantage and it's very hard for another player to deal with that so mana just struggling here needs to hold his last mining expansion which is actually getting pretty low and if he doesn't take a third or uh well a third expansion fourth base very soon He's going to find himself in a lot of trouble. Well, he is in a lot of trouble right now. Looking at the army count, 116 to 59. So even though he has a pretty strong army here, um, going to be very hard to fight an army twice its size. I mean, these Hydras will melt pretty well to these storms, but uh, I mean, this is just a lot of Hydras here. It, doesn't, it almost won't matter, I don't think. Especially if they fight on the creep. If they fight on the creep, Hydras move fast enough to actually kind of dodge storms. And that will really, um, really help right here. So once again, some links poking in here. Going to kill some more workers. And I think we are going to have a battle right here. Some storms going off. Doing a lot of damage. Oh, actually taking out quite a large number of the Hydras here. But it's just not going to be enough. And Mana realizes this. He does GG. And... Once again, Retta showing his very, very nice macro play Zerg and showing how he can um, or it, it can win games against some of the top players out there. So I hope you guys did enjoy the Ret series. If you guys or gals, though, I mean, we all know most of the viewers are men. This I actually looked at the metrics the other day. It's like 5% of my viewers are women. So, guys and gals, um, which is actually a surprising number. Man, I just keep going off on these tangents. But guys or gals, or everybody, whatever. Uh, if you have any player you want to see, let me know. And I will find replays from them and cast them next. So, I'm, like I said, I'm not really sure who I want to cast next or um, what games I want to see. So, let me know if you guys have any suggestions. And I'll uh, cast them. So, with that, hope everybody enjoyed and see you all later.